Hello guys, BTA here, and I just thought that since the Call of Duty XP thing just came out and uh, the game is being shown and stuff, I thought it would be an appropriate time to just uh, render this out as a video and stuff like that. So I started it. I started a new Call of Duty idea thing like two months ago. I saw a video by Thunder and he said something. I was like, Oh my God! I just thought of something because he said something and it just clicked in my head. And I was like interesting and then I just ended up building from there and so on and so forth and then like when the Modern Warfare 3 you know Spec Ops trailer came out then it then I uh, ended up changing all the kill streak stuff and like the point streaks and you know that is you know throughout time I just added more and more to it and tweaked little little things of different things so now I'm going to get on to like some information and attachments for this video and then I'll go on to different types of equipment kill streaks perks and stuff like that for the other ones. So, for first off, for under some just some simple information, I have a uh, each kill will give a player one point towards their point streak rewards. Uh, capturing an objective counts as three points toward their point streak rewards, but in domination, the flag you spawn on will not, however, because then it would make it so like you know every person would have a UAV like right off the start, and you know I don't think people should get free you know point streaks and stuff like that. So basically, they will not get points for the the flag on their spawn, as l unless you know it's captured by the enemy first. So like they'll cap it, great, it'll help them win the game. But then they'll go rush for B or the other flag, and then if the other enemy the other team takes it from them, then they'll get points for retaking it back. And then uh, streak rewards are cl the the streak rewards are class assigned, and uh, some people say that uh, well that's not right they would just switch classes and like call in all their UAVs and shit and help them build uh, like other killstreaks like let's say I get a UAV I switch classes to a, I switch to a class with that has chopper gunners and stuff then they call a UAV and all that stuff and it helps them you know but I, f I, I got a solution basically uh, players will not earn new point streak rewards if they change their classes and then use those previously earned point streak rewards unless until those point streaks are done anyways so you know they call they switch classes, call you call in their UAV or whatever they got. When those are done, then they will start earning those point streaks for that new class. Now point streak rewards will build higher point streaks, but only in that current streak. And uh, I ended up going back to this because uh, I I uh, categorized the kill streaks or the point streaks. So this way, you know the kill the point streak rewards cannot play the game for you. They will help you get some kills, but they won't be the means of doing well. You will do well to get them, but they will not be what you do well because of you have, or, wow, I'm, that's a fail, fail compound sentence right there. So, yeah, the, I'll get into the categorization of them later. And then radar point streaks cannot be shot down, sort of like the COD 4 and World at War, uh, you know, type of thing. Like UAVs, counter UAVs, you know, blackbirds, you know, stuff like that, those cannot be shot down. This will incorporate more usage of, uh, you know, like a cold-blooded class or, you know, counter UAVs rather than, heck, he called in a UAV, so I'm going to shoot it down with a stinger missile. No, 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 call in a counter UAV and you're good to go. Or have cold-blooded. Because I, th I think it's a slap in the face, sort of like, if, let's say you're playing Search and Destroy, you get a UAV. Once you call it in, it gets immediately shot down by someone with a stinger missile. And now there's still six people on the other enemy team, and it's like, really? They should have put cold blooded on. Then they would be at a disadvantage if you have stopping power or you know something like that. There should be a trade off. So yeah. Now D pad left will switch to special equipment. If you hold D pad left, it will change firing modes on your guns. Well, depending on which gun it is, they'll have certain firing modes. D pad up will cycle through your point streak rewards. If you hold D pad up. It will drop the bomb and search and destroy if you just so happen to have it. Because I know sometimes I pick it up when I don't always want to. And maybe, what if someone picks it up and they're like, Oh, I didn't mean to pick it up. And you're like, okay, drop it, give it to me. You know, something like that. You can do it in Counter-Strike. Why can't we drop it on Call of Duty? So, yeah. And then D-pad right will use point streaks. D-pad down will put on weapon equipment. Or if it's if, or if you already put it onto the the weapon, it will switch to it after it's already on your gun. And then if you hold D-pad down, it will take the weapon equipment off of your current gun. So like I'll, I will get into those. I'll, yeah, I'll talk about it later when I get into that uh, type of video. So then the default melee would be a gun butting system, which is a two-hit kill but one from behind. That'd be really great. 
and you cannot melee while you are taking damage unless you are out of ammo. This way it will like this way people can't like panic knife you when you get like three bullets on them. But if they're out of bullets, I mean a, a melee is a last resort weapon or a knife in general is. So yeah. And then no players will make footstep sounds by default. I have a I have some I uh, put a perk in to cater to that type of thing. So no footstep sounds by default. And there should also be character customization, such as maybe something to change the race, the gender, the attire, etc. Another thing, I think that the sniper scopes on sniper rifles should have a little lens glaring effect type of thing. It's in Battlefield 3, and even beforehand I was like, it would be so great for when I'm playing Modern Warfare 2 on Search and Destroy on these snowy maps or any large map in general where these people want to make it a sniper lobby, but I don't agree with them. It would just be really nice to know where they are. That way, I don't get fucked up. So that would be awesome. Then you'd know where they are, blah, 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 blah. And also, when using shotguns, you can pick buckshot or a slug round in the create a class menu. That way, like, you know, buckshot and a shotgun, it's shorter range and more powerful for close range. So, yeah. But slug, it's going to keep the same damage but make it more accurate at long range. But the hip fire accuracy, of course, is not going to be there for you in time of whenever and now I'm going to get into the attachments and you're probably gonna think well you left out a bunch of them well, I'll get into that I have a whole category of weapon equipment which is where the some of the where the, all the missing stuff is so the attachments are the one of them is the electric clip dropper so basically once your magazine is empty it will automatically drop from the gun allowing for faster reloads that way basically your character doesn't have to like grab the magazine pop it out and then put another one in. So this will speed up reloading. Then there's dual mag for every other reload being faster. Then you'd probably then you'd probably say, well, why if there's electric clip dropper, why do you need dual mag or vice versa? Well, because if there's a perk that lets you have more than one attachment, you could combine the the two. So yeah, one well, electric clip dropper would affect every magazine. So and then there's the mini magazine, which basically instead of your 30 round magazine it will give you a 20 round magazine except every single reload is slightly faster and this will work on submachine guns as well not just assault rifles then there's the triple mag which is basically like instead of a dual mag where it's two it's triple mag is three because it's a triple mag so the first two reloads are faster but the third is normal or maybe slightly slower because you I mean you got this it's like you got a big block with you or something then extended magazine for 50 percent more ammo ammo per magazine so if you have 30 rounds in it makes it to 45 and then the C magazine which is a 100 round magazine it will slow down your movement speed to a light machine gun type of class and it will be a slower reload than a normal magazine that way you know people can't just you know put it on and be at the same advantage or even more an advantage and it's only on assault rifles that way people can't like run around as if it's world at war mp40 round drum type of thing and then there's the dot sight, the holographic sight, and the reflex sight. The the reflex sight. These are all precision type of things. Then there's an ammo pouch, which basically is just an ammo bag on the stock of your gun, and it'll give you one extra magazine. Then there's a reinforced stock, so when you are aiming down sights, you have less flinch when you are shot. There's the grip, which gives you less recoil. And there's the bipod that just basically allows your gun to be mounted on a ledge. So basically, like like the COD four you know, mounted turret type of thing, right? You can't aim down sights, right? So if you put your gun on the ledge, you're not going to be able to aim down sights. You're not going to have perfect accuracy like you're aiming down sights, but it will be better than hip fire accuracy, and you're not going to have to worry about the recoil or, like, getting that flinch when someone shoots you because it's going to be a mounted mounted on a little bipod. But you're not going to be, like, you can't just, like, automatically prone. you got to take the bipod off. And so that is the end of the information and attachments, guys. I will see you next time.